and I felt so unbelievably good off the Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this N-methyl tyramine by Bulk Stimulants. Now, at one point I reviewed all the Bulk Stimulants. I took a good you know, year off from checking out their website. I just went on and they have a lot of new stuff. Ooh, yeah. I just did a review on Pramiracetam. That was the first one I jumped into. And now I'm trying out this N-methyl tyramine. Now I have had supplements with this in the past. I have looked this up in the past, but from what I remember back in the day, it just didn't seem that groundbreaking and there wasn't that much information on it. And even researching it right now, there's very, very little information on it. I think there's really no YouTube videos about it. And if there is, they're just reading what's off Wikipedia. Now, if you were to look at the chemical structure of N-methyl tyramine, it is very, very similar to amphetamine. It is very similar to tyrosine. And I think tyrosine turns into the original tyramine. Now this is the methylated tyramine, so it's gonna behave a little bit differently. And there hasn't been that much studies on this specifically. Now I would assume because this is so similar to like dopamine and things like that, it's going to turn into a lot of those similar chemicals and also probably like noradrenaline, things like that. But you don't really want just the straight adrenaline style stimulants because they're very, very anxious. You want at least a little bit of that dopamine stimulation, but at the same time, you don't want the dopamine stimulation to be too high or else it'll be very, very addictive. So you want that right blend of everything. Now I've tried this stuff for about five, maybe six days. Usually at one scoop, I think they say one scoop's like 75 milligrams. Usually off one scoop, it's a nice, pleasant awakening feel. Certain stimulants can kind of have this nasty, kind of overstimulated kind of energy. I didn't get that. It was a very pleasant awakening feeling. I felt just like a nice little bit of dopamine without too much addictive qualities, without too much extra stimulation. I tried one scoop and it wasn't too strong for me. A couple times I did take two scoops of this stuff and it was much, much, much stronger and it was kind of like not my favorite kind of stimulation but at the same time it wasn't like that nasty kind of adrenaline it was just like maybe i would want to stick with a scoop maybe a scoop and a half and i really do think this is best combined with other stuff just because it's got a nice pleasant awakening effect and you don't want to take too too much of it but blend it with other things it's very very nice and like i said we don't really know what this turns into online they'll show like what dopamine turns into and what tyrosine turns into. Basically this will be like the last one on the tree. Like tyrosine turns into tyramine, tyramine turns into N-methyl tyramine, and then they don't really say where it converts to after that. But I would, I would venture to say it's going to convert to a lot of these similar type chemicals. But again, there's no studies on it. So we don't really know exactly what it's gonna convert to. I did see a weird study saying that this is claimed to be a fat burner, but it makes you more hungry and it also stops your body from burning fat. Now, I have no idea if that's true, but I did find a little study about that and people say that because because it's a stimulant, they think it's gonna have this fat burning effect, but for some reason it doesn't. I don't, I'm not super into fat burning. I think the main bulk stimulant for fat burning is called like uh, isosynfedrin or something, but they have a really, really good fat burner only stimulant. So this is not really, you know, that. I do wanna say at one time I took some modafinil early in the morning. Modafinil for me is like a powerhouse. Um, it's something that lasts all day. I took some, I didn't really feel it that much. And modafinil is not something that I ever redose. Like if I take it a couple hours into it, I feel like I need more stimulation. I'm never gonna redose it just because it lasts so long, right? So, I mean, I took the modafinil, but I wasn't really feeling it that much. I took, I think one, maybe two scoops of this. The last thing I do at work is I have to walk the perimeter this last, like it's about a mile, right? And I was listening to my music and I felt so unbelievably good off the modafinil and this. It was similar to a euphoria. My whole body felt good. I felt kind of euphoric, but it wasn't like an amphetamine-like euphoria. It wasn't like I was in a trance. I was still in reality, but I just felt really, 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 really good. Now, I haven't been able to replicate that just because I haven't taken modafinil and this. And again, modafinil is one of those things that, I mean, you could take a low dose with other things, but it's just so strong. Most of the time, you could just take it in the morning and forget about the other stuff. So I do want to experiment with that again because I don't know what it was specifically specifically, but it was just so pleasant. Like I'm telling you, I'm just walking, listening to music and my whole body's just like, 
giving me, it's, it's weird because it's kind of like euphoria, but again, it's not like an amphetamine euphoria. It's not like you're out of your mind, you know, kind of euphoria. I was very, in reality, I just felt very, very good. So anyways, guys, this has kind of been my little first impressions of in methyl tyramine. It's something that I could take quite often. I could take it probably every single day. I took it a little bit before this video, one scoop, because I didn't want to overdo it. I have been mixing in capsules because I think it was pretty bitter, but I don't remember exactly what it tasted like. I think I tried it once and I was just like, I'm just gonna capsule this, you know what I mean? I have some other supplements, so I could put a little bit in the cap and then put like a normal healthy supplement to fill the rest of the other cap. But anyways, guys, in methyl tyramine, I am really, really liking it. It's very similar to dopamine. It's very similar to amphetamines and tyrosine. And tyrosine, I just mentioned it before in this video, but tyrosine is a building block to dopamine. And dopamine is one of the most notorious feel-good chemicals. And tyrosine is found in almost all kinds of protein. Tyrosine is just very natural. I wouldn't say it's a substitute for DMAA, if I were to say how long it lasts, a pretty decent amount, I would say probably about maybe three hours, three and a half hours of its primary effect and probably has like a lingering effect of maybe another four or five hours after that. Um, it's pretty strong. Again, like it feels kind of light and nice on one scoop, but then you start taking a lot and it becomes a lot more noticeable. Thankfully for me though, it was not anxious, even at a high dose. And methyl tyramine, really, really like it. Check it out at bulkstimulants.com. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.